What's up guys, Crook for Money bringing you the Lennox Lewis challenge issued by Sakuraba1982. His link will be in the description below and including his link will be the video of him issuing the challenge which basically is just get a win with Lennox Lewis which in my opinion seemed really easy because it's not that hard to get wins in my opinion. I mean, you can see my record right there. Most of the losses are just like one punch knockouts. Some are using different fighters like I am now, which if you saw my last video, then you would see I lost to Mike Tyson. But as you see, Sonny Liston has a 98-80 record, which is pretty good. But obviously no one picks Sonny Liston, so... This basically turns into the Lennox Lewis Challenge and the Round 1 KO show, as Sakuraba would say on his channel. So yeah, basically I felt like Lennox Lewis was really, he had the best weapons to defeat people, which I'm going to obviously use. And those weapons are the jab straight, which I use a lot. And yeah, he has 20 jab, 20 straight. He has a pretty good left and right hook, but you know it's mostly the jab straight that you want to use, obviously. His body work is pretty garbage, which is why I lost my last match. A little bit of a portion of why I lost my last match against Mike Tyson, as I catch that full with the knockdown, but if you seen my last video, which I'll link as well, then you know, if you skip through it. I had a few problems using Lennox Lewis, which I couldn't describe on the video because I had no commentary. But basically, I felt like Lennox Lewis just did like half step jab straights, which is really weird because I've never used anyone in the game that did that. But if you see me uh, when I rush Mike Tyson in that video with the jab straight, I'm not really jumping into my jab straight, I'm just kind of half-stepping a jab straight. It's like a half-ass, like, step-in strike. And it was really causing me problems because I couldn't hit him when he backed up. So in my opinion, given that, I feel like Lennox Lewis is the absolute worst fighter to use against a runner. So take that into consideration because there is a lot of runners in Fight Night Champion. So, I'd say the best weapon to use against Lennox Lewis if someone picked him, which most likely they won't, but if they did, would be to just run. Because Lennox Lewis cannot catch up using jab straights, and he just, he seems useless against a runner, in my opinion. But those were basically the biggest complaints, I mean, he did, he does get stunned quite easy. But he can also stun people quite easy, as you may have seen in the Mike Tyson video, because I actually knocked down Mike Tyson really early, and it's with a critical stun. He didn't really throw anything to gas himself out, it was just a lucky hit, really. And I knocked him down in the first round. And, yeah. So basically what happened in this video is, once... I saw the timer about to get around like 10 seconds. I was like, I have a really good chance to knock this dude down and get a knockout in the round in round one, which would add to this challenge if I was issuing my own challenge because it would be Lennox Lewis challenge would be get a win in round one with Lennox Lewis by knockout, obviously. And that would just add to the challenge, but I understand if you're issuing a challenge and most people don't even play the game, then most likely, you know, you gotta start somewhere. But, yeah, I completed the challenge. It was kind of a cop-out victory, I guess, because it, it was so easy. But, as you see, you know, I could have beat Mike Tyson if it wasn't such a good player using him, I guess. I don't know. Those are just my thoughts, but that's challenge complete. Check the video out. Mike Tyson, all that, and let me know what you think. Peace, I'm out.